In Creole Parametric 11, there are new surface selection tools that makes picking multiple surfaces a whole lot easier. And there are a lot of applications for these tools, such as picking semantic references for model-based definition, data sharing features, applying colors to surfaces, and anything that uses the surface sets collector. Let's take a look at this. Here I have a part model open. Let me go to a top view. I will select this surface and then use the view normal tool. Now I want to pick a whole bunch of surfaces on the right hand side for a published geometry feature. If you take a look down at the bottom of the screen, we have a selection filter where you can choose whether you're using box selection, lasso selection, or trace selection, you can see that they have some keyboard shortcuts of shift and one, two, or three. Let's start off with box selection. And with box selection, I will click on it. And first I'm gonna swipe a box over a bunch of the surfaces on the right. Let me move it over here and then let go. And here you can see the surfaces that are selected. You'll notice it did not get the vertical surfaces in this situation because of this icon over to the right. And that icon toggles between selecting visible surfaces only or selecting through. So let me start off by deselecting that option. Let me go back to a top view and let's try selecting again. Let me move things over. So I'll start about where I was before and I'll start from the left and go to the right. And now when I rotate my model, you will see that it got the vertical surfaces as well. And be aware that the left to right or right to left works the same way as if you were in an assembly and trying to pick multiple parts. So for example, let me go back to that top view. This time, instead of going from left to right, I'm gonna go from right to left. So as I move my mouse this way approximately to the same locations, you'll notice that it picked a whole bunch more surfaces because in this situation, it is grabbing any surfaces that are touched by the box, whereas when you go from left to right, it only grabs the surfaces that are completely within the box. And so this is great. This got a lot of the surfaces that I want. And this supports an object action workflow in addition to action object. What that means is I started off by selecting a bunch of surfaces. Now I will go to my model intent overflow menu then click on the Publish Geometry command, and you'll see that if I go to the Details button, it automatically grabbed all those different surfaces. You can see in this particular situation, it grabbed 153 surfaces, and so that was a lot quicker and easier if I tried to do that using the tools that you had in Creo 10 and earlier. And one thing that you'll find in Creo 10 and earlier is that sometimes the advanced selection methods like seed and boundary just aren't practical, especially when you have holes in your models. All right, let me click the cancel button out of there and then hit the check mark. And so now I've got my published geometry feature created. Let's take a look at a second example. This time I will take a look at applying a color to a bunch of different surfaces. So once again, I'm gonna to go to looking straight on at my model. And this time I will use the lasso selection tool. One thing to note is that this button here for visible surfaces only, this is only available for selection by defining a box. But anyhow, I will once again go to my menu and choose the lasso selection. And now with this, I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and scroll over a bunch of the different surfaces. Let me cut through over there. And then I will end up closing the loop. And now it's selected all those different surfaces. Let me go to my view drop down menu, go to my appearances, and I'll find the color that I want to apply to those. Hey, let's use this nice bright red color. And that way I've quickly and easily applied the red color to all those different surfaces. All right, let's take a look at one last example. I'm gonna rotate back to the other side and do my view normal and zoom it over to the middle of the screen. 
Let's take a look at an example for model-based definition. So here I have a surface finish. Oops, let me deselect everything. Here I have a surface finish. I will click on it. And then from the geometry tolerance dashboard, we'll click on references over here. And here we have the references right now. There are no references for that one. Let me go to the surface sets tab. When I go to surface sets, then you have access to your surface selection tools. And this time, instead of box or lasso, I will use the trace option. And with the trace option, you are going to run your mouse over a whole bunch of different entities. Let me slice as many things as I want over here and then let go. And now it's doing the calculation. And it ended up grabbing all those different surfaces that I ran my mouse over. I am happy with that. Let's click the OK button out of the References button and then deselect. And I can select the geometric tolerance. And then here we have the semantic query. And you can see all the different surfaces that were selected by that one. So there you have it. Those are the new surface selection tools that you have in Creole Parametric 11.